Hi, welcome back. Last time I found the abject horror that is the Hordes level. And this gave me some issues. Uh, yeah. So the gist of this room was that... <laughs> I have just started and it is already hurting my brain. I, just looking at this is... Removes my ability to speak eloquently, as it turns out. <laughs> so sorry about this. <laughs> I'm going to keep this intro no matter how awkward it is. Normally I would re-record, but I'm choosing not to. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> what do I say here? How do I do this? Um, right, so this room broke my brain kind of pretty badly. And is continuing to do so, as it turns out. Uh, Hordes is a whole secret level... I have explored... I determined that it contained 11 rooms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I believe this is a face. Like a guy, a skeleton wearing a crown or something is what I'm seeing here. Um, sh shoulder pads and an amulet or something. Uh, so, right. Four mimics, all on hot tiles. I'll have to survive long enough for Beethro to hit this orb and then this orb. Why that orb? Presumably that will do something that will allow this mimic to... Um, move around a little more freely so I can get in there. Okay, so I did have one realization, which is that... All mimics will end up pushed up against the ceiling. However, let's see, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, okay. By the time Beethro moves north from this po potion to where this orb is... Uh, yeah, okay, so... In order for Beethro to move north without a mimic moving north, I need a two wide something. I see a space here, here, and none for either of these. The problem I kept running into, okay, so these two have a lot of room all the way on the north. So Beethro needs to do a bunch of northward movement. The problem is that mimics get trapped and burned on hot tiles because they don't have enough horizontal room. So the strategy I'm going to try to employ here is to place these two first. Then I think this... That is only one apart, okay. And then this... Ouch. Die by accident. I want to attempt to get you caught here and you caught here, then sort of make a zigzaggy path up north somehow. Yeah, I'm envisioning something that could work. Okay. Well, that's a great start. So I'm already not a fan of what you've done. However, I can change it like that. Okay. This is good for me. Okay, except it's bad for you. Oh, man. Do I have to do this room? Like, do I really have to do this room? Of course, you die, and you die, and everybody always dies, and I can't get anything done because there's so much dying going on. There's no way I'm getting through here. I have to go this way. Okay, I went that way and somebody died. <sighs> so let's do some mimic babysitting. Okay, nobody's gonna die on this next move. Cool. Nobody's gonna die on this next move. However, you would die if I moved to any direction that was not west or south. What can I do about that? 
Perhaps I can do this. That doesn't help anything. Why would I do that? So, okay. If I wanted to go around this way, then that's terrible because that doesn't let me end up here. I wanted to be here for some reason. I need to be able to make two northwest moves, so you are currently the main problem with that. So to fix that problem, could... Oh, what could I do? Well, that kills you. I mean, I can change that with... Oh, ah! Yeah. Have I done anything productive? By placing you on this side of that, perhaps you can survive for longer, but then you're going to die. So you need to be on that side of where you are? Okay. I mean, okay, I'll try this. Okay. That's a lot of the same move in a row that I was able to make there. I have things in roughly the place where I wanted them. So this might not be completely terrible. I'm fairly restricted in my available moves right now, though. I can do this. I can do this. But then from here, I'm kind of stuck. Oh, hey, I can move to north. And then I can do this, which is not helpful in any way. Huh. I can do that. idea. What do I even want to try to do? What about this? Hey, that's something. That's something. That's something exactly like what I wanted. I can step south. I can do this. This feels like progress. You are in a horrible spot. Can I change that? Maybe? You're causing me pro Man, oh! Why does this room have to exist? <laughs> so I changed where you are. I don't think that'll help me, right? It's hard to see how it could. Then again, this could be something. No, it couldn't, because you are a jerk. And I have landed Bethro in a spot that parallels this way too well when I want to step over there. Okay. So I guess that does give me another way to think of this. Think of transplanting Bethro over here and how the, these obstacles overlap with his. I'm not sure it's useful to do that, but it's a way I could think of things. Where... okay. Where would you need to be for Bethro to be able to step there? In any way. Like, these others are not being particularly problematic now, it's just you. It's just you. I kind of feel like I need to shuffle you southward using the only possible spot that can do it, which is here. Wait a second! Well, no, that doesn't help. That doesn't help unless the very next move would move you into this block, which is why I thought I wanted to approach from this side. Because Beethro could step from here to here when this mimic is here, and he would actually have an open move. Okay, so I may have just wasted a lot of time and done this wrong. Maybe. I'll persist for a bit longer. Let's see if I could maybe move you in there. Okay, I've moved you in there. Ch 
Oh. Huh. Okay, I can't go much of anywhere from there. <laughs> uh... Huh. Well, now that I'm a little less tired than I was last time, this doesn't hurt as much as it did then. It's still not pleasant. Hey, have I done something? Uh, actually, I might have. If I can get you out of the way. Okay, let me ignore you for just a second. Let's pretend that didn't happen. If that hadn't happened, I could have done that. Okay, so you need to move then, but everything else is set up kind of semi-okay. Ouch. Ouch. Different kind of ouch. Mm, I have a problem. All moves must contain a horizontal component right now. Well, okay, I can do... I can do this. I want you in another place. But I can't go anywhere from here. I can do that. Not helpful. Can I edge you over? No. Not really, I don't have that kind of leverage. Does this help? How would it? Actually, it does. Actually, it does. I can hit the orb now. Cool. No. No, I can't. No, I can't for several reasons. Why are you so far over that way? You were in a better place earlier. I think I know why. Yeah. You're not in a place where you can move vertically, and that's part of my problem here. Alright, I changed something. Oh, I changed something good. You got snagged on that, which may help me. I can move south. Uh, why would I want to? Hmm. I'm no longer certain. Okay, what I do know... Is that I want to do... Th uh-huh. Okay, so I offset you. I moved you south. Now can I hit the orb? No, because you are awful. Alright, so where do you need to go? Uh, you need... To somehow brush against this, how will that happen? Perhaps like that? Ooh. Ah. Uh. Uh-huh. Okay. 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 I am very close to being able to use that orb. Now my problem is here. It keeps moving around. So I need to scrape you off on that then, without disrupting anybody else. Oh boy. I'm so excited. Also, I'm stuck now. I actually can't do anything, can I? Yeah, that got me stuck. How? Okay, before I step in there, I need to reposition you. I can do that. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Can I? Surely, somehow. Yeah. So I'm very limited in my moves here because of the, the interaction between those two. I didn't manage to do what I wanted to do. 
I hate these mimics. <coughs> Alright, so you have become my main problem. Since Bethro's position matches that exactly, I can't do anything from this position. So I need a new one. And you have locked me in there, haven't you? Can I go this way? Y yeah, maybe. Yes, I believe so. But I need to get out of this pattern somehow. The only way to do that would be like this. So can I do that without those two dying? Yeah. Hey. Alright, I moved you, so you might be less likely to die, maybe. What? <laughs> well, I'm right back to how I was. Why does this room exist? I spent about 15 minutes on it last time, and it left me feeling exactly the way I feel right now. Just basically... Like I've lost all cognitive abilities to do anything. Because of a drawed room. Every one of these mimics is a problem. I'm trying to use this little bit of wall to make this mimic do something different from Bethro. So I would need mimic here, Bethro here, and Bethro able to make a southwest step because you are disrupting everything. There's also this, but I don't think I can use that for anything. Because, yeah, basically I need to offset this mimic from the relative position relative to Bethro and this block, which parallels that one. And this one, which parallels that one. Because otherwise, this is always going to end up in that same pattern here when I'm near the orb. And I won't be able to touch the orb without... Yeah, this checkpoint matches up to that space. Okay, so that is the problem I am currently facing. At least I can think about this. So the way that I would be able to affect something... Okay, I've, I've moved you... I've already explained how to affect something. I know exactly what I need to do. It's just a matter of doing it. If only it were that simple. I can back up. There's no telling that would put me in a better position. I mean, I would lose all the state of how I am right now, where I happen to know that everything is kind of okay with these three. It's just you that's the problem. This matches up to that. Yeah, these these shapes match up distressingly well. How else can I get out of this holding pattern? Perhaps I could... Right, you're being a jerk. Please stop. Oh, hey. I did it somehow. Alright, I've offset Bethro from this mimic. Take care not to undo that work. You are going to be a problem there, but maybe I can fix it. If I can fix it without re-offsetting this, or I could offset this more. Okay. Oh, there's also that ceiling. Okay. Okay. So next problem is you, again. Okay, I can do that. And then... Okay. Okay. This could be good, maybe. This could be good, maybe. Very almost. Hmm. What do I want? Am 
my problem right here is you. I would like you to be on the other side. That's what I want. Uh, I did something. I don't think it's what I wanted. Let's see what happens, though. He undoes his offset and ends up in the same spot. Okay, so that doesn't matter. We can change your offset a little bit. Not really, though. Well, actually, yes. Not usefully. I'm back in the same situation. My options are so limited. Hey, I did something different. Perhaps I could work with this. Hey, look, I used the orb and everybody's alive. Good. Uh, so I can step north and I can just wiggle back and forth and hit this orb. Hey, cool. Okay. Now let's kill some gel babies. I like that I have a large area to move around in and hey, look, Beethro is free of obstacles. Well, that's useful. Perhaps this will become manageable all of a sudden. I wouldn't count on it. But maybe... Just maybe... Everyone's kind of stuck in a pretty good... Location. I want this orb out of here. I should have... Can I... Let me go back to a point where that was possible because... There we go. That will help. Definitely. Shattering orbs... That is an interesting use of broken orbs there. Cracked orbs. Uh, okay, so with B throws new found increased movement options, I can do cool stuff like this. Yeah, gel baby dead. Okay, so stop caring about this mimic. It can die for all I care. In fact, I would prefer that it die. <laughs> yeah, you go away. Uh, okay, so I'm not doing anything productive right at the moment. I'm trying to work on this mimic, and I did it. Okay, you die. Oh, you're, on, you're not on a hot tile. You die. Take that. <laughs> all right, I'm in the victory cascade now. Yes. You're gonna die, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Miserable, hellish, horrible room. Over. <laughs> See, I use those words. They apply in a very different way to this room than to any of the others. My head is literally spinning right now. Well, okay. My head is figuratively spinning right now. I have a sensation of vertigo from having done that room. <laughs> <laughs> and what did it really earn me? Certainly not passage through anywhere. There were no room clear gates anywhere in there. Uh, I am feeling seriously dizzy right now. This is a strange sensation. <laughs> okay, hey, there's a scroll. I don't know what it says. I won't get to know what it says from this entrance because that was the only thing I could do here. Okay, so I guess what I did was I made a step toward opening these level clear gates. So... This is perhaps the main entrance which leads on to those and then this is the way to secret stuff? That feels like it would make sense since the checkpoint and scroll and stuff are on that side. Though it's hard to say. Okay, so... <laughs> um, lava gates at this point would be fully explored except for this room. Let's see, 92%. 92%. So 
So if it's 8, okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 visible rooms. If it were 25, each room... So this is telling me there are two unexplored rooms, is what I'm seeing here. I don't know what the post-mastery area is going to be like. How many rooms it is, if it's its own level. I'm assuming there's going to be some horrible rooms in it. So there, this probably leads to a stairway. Okay, so situation... I'm missing two secrets in Giants and one in co uh, the Complex, and two rooms in Lava Gates, at least one of which is definitely behind this. I have no other paths leading off into nowhere like this one that led me to this room. I think. What's this? Let me take a closer look at that and see if I can spot any cracked walls. It's worth a look. Stop that. Stop that. <laughs> I insist. Was there anything along here? No. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Wait a second, I can't look at that in person. Not from here. Okay, when was the last time I stepped in a checkpoint? Do I care? Eh. No. No. That room is clear. It's fine. Uh, restore from here. Fortress walls hide secrets pretty well, but I don't think I see any in there. Hmm. Okay. So... Why don't I just... Since... Since this room does such a great job at robbing my ability to speak, why don't I just stop? I will find some cracks in the wall, I hope. Or something. Some indication of where to go. Uh, and then check that out next time when I regain my ability to speak and my head stops spinning. That's going to be the plan. <laughs> I'd like to stop talking now, so I'll see you later.